everyone, this is Karen. Hey everybody, I'm Shane. Today we're looking at part one of Marshmallow. Joy to the world, one beat at a time. And the vocabulary words are mystery. Mystery. The cause of the damage to the statue is still a mystery. Surround. Surround. There are a lot of questions surrounding the new law. Mm. Initially. Initially. I was initially unsure how to approach the problem. Define. Define. To me, people are defined by their actions and not their words. All right. Comment. Comment. I have no further comments at this time. So well, I do need some comments for you <laughs> about today's very famous music producer, DJ, songwriter, mm -hmm. Marshmallow. It's such a cute name. Yes. But, you know, I can't really say much about him because I really don't know too much and I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> well, we do know what he looks like a from the outside. Right? He does look like a marshmallow. He has this big marshmallow head mm -hmm. and those really creepy, kind of scary eyes. <laughs> And he wears an all white suit. Yeah. It's kind of a very cool look, but also a little bit scary looking. But it's so mysterious though. Like I think people are dying to know, you know, who he really is or yeah. what he looks like, but he doesn't want people to know. Yeah. And so he's worked with like DJ Skrillex, who's like super famous mm -hmm. and he's worked with like Selena Gomez and he's making a lot of money mm -hmm. and he's very popular, but still he remains a mystery and I think he's also very very talented too mm. and he wants to make music or like in his own way yeah yeah so I feel like you know like that's why a lot of people really want to know who he is yeah well why don't we find out more about the marshmallow part of him maybe All not right. the real person mm -hmm. but the person that we know about <laughs> okay let's learn about marshmallow okay Marshmallow, joy to the world, one beat at a time. He made over $40 million last year, but still refuses to tell anyone his name. He's one of the most popular music producers in the world, but few have ever seen his face. The mystery surrounding Marshmallow's identity was, initially, one of the reasons for his popularity. Even famous DJ Skrillex was obsessed with finding out who Marshmallow was. Today's lesson is called Marshmallow, Joy to the World, One Beat at a Time, Part 1. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. Yes, it's our time to look at one of today's biggest music stars. And, well, we're going over to that guy who we don't know who it... I guess we're even guessing it's a guy. I get, do people know this? I, I suppose it is clear that Marshmallow is a male popular music yeah, he's, he's performer. Not, he's not a Marshmallow. He's not a Marshmallow, no. but that's his name. But the mystery is still there since he continually wears a giant Marshmallow helmet covering his face. Oh. So he's, he's not, he's not a, a tasty, fluffy treat. Nope. He just wears a mask that looks like a tasty, fluffy treat. A marshmallow, yep. but That's his right. name is Marshmallow. He's a person, and apparently nobody knows who he really is. Yeah, he made over $40 million last year, but still refuses to tell anyone his name. Only Mike knows what his real name That's is. That's right, my top secret information from Wikipedia yeah, told me his name. It, it's, the name's on Wikipedia it's now. It's right there oh. in the article. But it, it should be stated that I don't think he's ever admitted that's his name. It's just journalists and music people have sort of known the name. But there is this mystery, and even if we do know his name, he's not photographed with his natural, normal gotcha. face very often. So there is some mystery still there. But here's no mystery. He's one of the most popular music producers in the world, but few have ever seen his face. There you go. Yeah. The mystery surrounding Marshmallow's identity was initially one of the reasons for his popularity. Yeah, people yes. like a mystery. The, yeah, the fact that people didn't know who he was 
this wasn't a bad thing for him. It actually contributed to his popularity. How about that? Yes, people do like a good mystery. That's right. And a mystery is this, this is a noun. It means a great unknown. It's something that people don't know about, but they're probably very curious about, right? If it's something that people don't know about, but no one cares, well, that could be a mystery, but it will hardly get our attention. But if it's something that a lot of people have heard out, heard about, but almost no one can explain, that would create a mystery. For example, the cause of the damage to the statue is still a mystery. You know, who spray painted that statue and knocked off its head? Who did that? We don't know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Anyways, here we also have the verb surround to talk about. Now, usually, if one thing surrounds another thing, if A surrounds B, A is on all sides of that thing. Like, very often, moats surround castles. You have a castle and the moat, this body of water, goes all the way around that castle. It surrounds the castle. But that's not the case here. We're talking about a mystery surrounding marshmallow. That means that these mysteries are connected to this person. For example, there are a lot of questions surrounding the new law. Many people have questions about this law, connected to this law, or associated with this law. We also had the word initially. That adverb means at first. We use this when telling a story and talking about how something might have changed over time. Initially is the beginning of this event or this process or what happened. But then we get the idea when it starts with initially that by the end, things will have changed. So initially saying at first, but we're, giving, we're getting this idea that that's not the way it stayed. Something happened, some change took place. For example, I was initially unsure how to approach the problem. Anyways, let's, lear, let's hear some more about Marshmello and the mystery surrounding his identity. Mm -hmm. It made him very popular. Even famous DJ Skrillex was obsessed with finding out who Marshmello was, DJ Skrillex. Was he the dubstep guy? He's the American dubstep guy. That's him. Yeah. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back with more on Marshmello soon. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny. 這兩天要介紹的主角是Marshmello,不是吃的那一種棉花糖哦,而是DJ棉花糖,他是世界上最受歡迎的音樂製作人之一。那他之所以这么受欢迎，其中一个原因是他神秘的身份。他总是带着一顶像棉花糖的头盔出现，很少人看过他的脸。虽然外界有推测出他的身份，可是他也拒绝把名字告诉任何人，非常的神秘。就连
As for the name, it comes from a comment a friend made, which described his music as mellow and easy to listen to. Okay. There is a lot of mystery surrounding the identity of Marshmallow, but everybody knows how Marshmallow looks. Maybe not his face, but he does have a look. Yes, Marshmallow's look is defined by his Marshmallow-shaped helmet that has its own air conditioning and lighting system. Cool. This is a helmet, and yes, not only is it shaped like a Marshmallow, that actual fluffy delicious treat but this helmet also has air conditioning mm. and a lighting system too okay amazing yeah. now perseus had a magical helmet but i'm pretty True. sure that that magic helmet wasn't as good as this helmet this helmet with ac and lighting to boot amazing anyways mm. it says that marshmallow's look is defined by this helmet here if something defines you it makes you who you are okay people associate this helmet with marshmallow it kind of defines his look anyways you can also say that if something defines something else it gives or provides that thing with meaning okay if you define a word you go into the dictionary and you find the actual meaning of that word for example to me, people are defined by their actions and not their words. Yes, their actions make these people who they are and not just what they say. Hmm. All right, so there you go. An air-conditioned helmet with its own lighting system. That sounds pretty interesting. And that's not all that defines his look. A bright all-white suit completes his marshmallow-themed look. So there's good advice. If marshmallow's coming to your town, don't serve him beef noodle soup. He'll get little spots all over his beautiful, greasy spots, beautiful yeah. white suit. As for the name, yeah, what about that name? Obviously, he's got the marshmallow-shaped helmet, but the name came before the hat, probably. As for the name, it comes from a comment a friend made, which described his music as mellow, and easy to listen to. Marsh Mellow. Okay. M -E -L -L -O -W. That's right. Although he doesn't include the W in That's his version right. of Mellow. And actually, if we're spelling the, the food, it's M A R S H M A L L O W. So he uses the M E L L O from this word mellow. Mellow just means kind of relaxed and casual, how you might feel on an easy Sunday afternoon. You're feeling real mellow, man, real casual, relaxed, everything's just fine. So there you go, it's that kind of music that you can listen to and feel relaxed um, as compared to other styles of music. This is a comment that one of Marshmallow's friends made. What is a comment? This noun is just something you say, something interesting you might say, something that relates to what you're doing or what you're talking about. It could be a casual comment, a serious comment, <gasps> a very rude and shocking comment, but it's kind of just something someone says, their idea, their opinion on something, and well, our conversations, especially when we're talking in a group, are often just made up of people trading and sharing different comments on a topic that they're talking about. For example, I have no further comments at this time. That's another way of saying I have nothing more to say at this time. Kind no of, comment. Kind of like us. We have to take a break no right comment. now. No comment. So we have no further comments at this time. No comment. DJ 棉花糖的外表呢，是以他那一顶棉花糖形状的头盔所界定的。那一顶头盔有自己的空调跟照明系统哦。那为了配合他的棉花糖主题，这位 DJ 也会穿着一身明亮全白的服装，来让自己的外表打扮呢有完整性。好，那么他的艺名 Marshmallow 是来自一个朋友的评论，朋友说他的音乐柔和又轻松悦耳。好，他那个朋友是用 mellow 这个字 ，m e l l o w， mellow 表示柔和的或是令人放松的。好，那这边还有两个单字 ，define， define 表示给什么下定义或是把什么阐明。那么 comment， comment 表示评论意见。接华课文中 ，marshmallow， joy to the world， one beat at a time。The multi-talented Marshmallow is not just a DJ, but also a producer and a songwriter. 
He stays independent from record labels so that he's free to make and release music the way he wants to. That hasn't hurt his bottom line, though. He has worked together with some of the biggest names in pop music, like Bastille on the track Happier and Selena Gomez on Wolves. His live shows can earn him over $100,000 per performance. Okay, more on Marshmallow. Apparently, he can do it all. Yes, the multi-talented Marshmallow is not just a DJ, but also a producer and a songwriter. So there you go. He can write songs, he can produce music, and he's also a DJ. Yes, you can say that he has many talents or that he is multi-talented. Uh, multi meaning many, many, so many talents. There you go. And he has an interesting relationship with the music business. It says he stays independent from record labels so that he's free to make and release music the way he wants to. Well, sure, the internet really has changed the music world, the music business, and one of the things it's allowed to do is allowed artists to be more independent. They don't have to sign with Sony, BMG, or Universal, those big music companies. They can be independent, release their music on the internet through SoundCloud or things like that, work with many different artists. So they might lose a bit of money and they have to kind of get out there and sell their work constantly, but it does give them freedom and independence so he can make music the way he wants to and work with anyone. Even if the, the record company says, well, that's our competition, he doesn't have to worry about that kind of thing. That's pretty cool. He's independent. He can do what he wants and yeah. he can make music the way he wants Through to. Through the power of the internet. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Now, even though he's not connected to a big record company or anything like that, that hasn't hurt his bottom line, though. Absolutely. He has worked together with some of the biggest names in pop music, like Bastille on the track Happier, and your personal favorite, Selena Gomez on Wolves. Anyways, his live shows, mm -hmm. we're talking about uh, Marshmallow. Yes. His live shows can earn him over 100,000 US dollars per performance, which isn't as much as Selena Gomez might make, but still, it's pretty, pretty good. And that's U.S. dollars, not N.T. dollars. That's U.S. dollars. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's impressive. American dollars, yeah. There you go. Anyways, folks, with that, today's lesson has come to an end, and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Take care. DJ Mian Hua Tang is a very Multi-talented或是念作multi，它是指多重的或是不止一个的。还有呢，songwriter就表示歌曲创作者。那文中的 record label record label，它表示唱片公司。好，那么虽然DJ棉花糖他没有唱片公司去帮他包装宣传，可是这不代表他赚的钱不多哦。柯文提到说，这样的方式没有损害到他的盈亏状况，他不但有跟一些流行乐的大咖明星合作，而且
。动词 obsess 它是指使什么着迷，使什么惦念。那么我们常常会用 be obsessed with 加上名词或动名词来指着迷于什么什么。举例来说 ，Dana is obsessed with BTS. Dana 很迷防弹少年团 BTS。好，接着来学 find out。片语动词 find out， 它是指说找出、查明、发现。那么后面接的名词通常是秘密啊、真相、事实等等，它有及物和不及物用法。那我们来造两个例句。I think your parents will find out sooner or later。我想你爸妈迟早会发现的。那这边我们是用它的不及物用法。Julie just found out。That her ex-boyfriend is dating someone else. Julie 刚刚才发现她前男友正在跟别人交往了，呵呵，要删掉脸书好友了。好，不管怎么样，我们这边是用 find out 的及物用法，然后以 that 子句来当它的受词哦。好，那我们来学受格关系代名词的用法。关系代名词它有分为主格、受格、所有格三种。那么受格关系代名词就是当受词用，它的基本句型结构是先行词加受格关系代名词 whom、which 或是 that， 再加主词加动词。那么当我们先行词是人的时候，可以用 whom 或是 that 来代指。而在口语用法中也可以用 who， 而先行词是事物或是动物的时候，可以用 which 或是 that 来代指。那在这样的句型当中，受格关系代名词也可以省略不用哦。我们来看两个例句 ：The guy whom we met yesterday， 或是 The guy that we met yesterday， 或是 The guy we met yesterday。Is a comedian. 我们昨天遇到那个男生是喜剧演员。再造一个例句。The book which you lent me yesterday, 或是 the book that you lent me yesterday, 或是 the book you lent me yesterday, is interesting. 你昨天借我那本书很有趣哎。那这边提醒同学们，在限定用法关系子句当中，也就是当你关系子句没有用逗号隔开的时候，才能用 that 来代替 who, whom 或是 which。最后，我们来学 make a comment。Comment 当名词，它表示评论、意见。那么 make a comment 就表示发表评论。例如 ，He made a rude comment about my dress. 他对我的洋装做出无理的评论，竟然说我这件洋装像捉襟，可恶，玻璃猫。好了，不管怎么样，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见了，拜拜。Everybody to English in action. I'm Shane. 你干嘛心情不好？你怎么了？开场是我讲的。哎，不一定啊。我。哼，好，你讲。Anyway， 今天主题就是你干嘛心情不好？我们直接进度对话吧。Okay， 好。Jeez. What's the matter? I failed my final exam again. You're always <laughs> failing. What do you do? What? Well, come on, study. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> are you okay now? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm still not okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the matter? Well, I mean, what's the matter? What's the matter? This this sentence is just pretty direct. Asking, "Hey, what's the matter?" Yeah. What's the matter? Is that that situation? What kind of situation? The matter. Very direct. 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 Very With you, 对，所以语气语气要对哦。What's up with you? What's up with you? 或者 What's up with you?、Uh, 如果他们好像就是有有点就是对你不爽，就是哎，或是那个人怪怪的。What's up with you? 你你怎么了？这<笑>语气差很多。<笑>对，语气是很重要。<笑>对，好、right, ，还有一个，嗯 ，Why the long face? 哎、hey, ，Good. 哎、hey, ，Try again. Why the long face? 哎、hey, <笑>，他才难过，对不对？<笑>
，好浪哦<笑>！你难过的时候，这个脸会变长的<笑>。对，所以这个指的应该是一个难，你就他看起来有点难过难过。对，所以浪其实不适合用在就是其他的，嗯、就是生气不能用浪费的时候，只能难过的时候。Yeah. Okay, you got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So if you don't know how to say it in English. 看，我们就对了。What's the matter? What's the matter? What's up with you? What's up with you? Why the long face? Why the long face?